Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, in this video, we will be comparing the size of different stars in our universe. Stars are born when a nebula gets disturbed by an out outer force, uh, which can be caused by an explosion like uh, a star, a star's explosion like a supernova, or a formation of a uh, black hole, or any other type of explosion that happens around. So when the, uh, the nebula gets distracted or disturbed, uh, atoms like such as hydrogen, helium, nitrogen combine to uh, form the core of the star and then the star develops and it turns into either uh, yellow dwarf, uh, red dwarf, a white dwarf, a red giant, a yellow giant, an orange giant or supermassive stars like red super giants, yellow super giants, blue super giants like that. Vela X1, 16 km in diameter, which is the smallest known star. Ra Pulsar, which is about 20 km in diameter, which is the smallest known neutron star. Sirius B, 11,000 km in diameter, which is the uh, final star we, uh, we get it in the 10,000 value and then for comparison Saturn is about 68,000 km in diameter EBLM J0355 57 AB 120,000 km Trappist 1 168,360 km Proxima Centauri which is the closest star to the Sun 214,550 km in diameter Arsen 1.3 million km in diameter Alpha Centauri 1.7 million km in diameter to mention Alpha Centauri A Sirius A 2.3 million km in diameter VFTS 352 contact binary 5 million km in diameter Polex 12.2 million km in diameter Arthurus 35.3 million km in diameter R136A1 42 million km in diameter Albedarin 61.4 million km in diameter Rigal 109.7 million km in diameter Betelgeuse 1.2 billion km in diameter VY Canis Majoris 1.9 billion km in diameter UI Scuti 2.3 billion km in diameter Stephenson 218 3 billion km in diameter Stephenson 218 is the largest known star until now Quasi star 10 billion km Quasi stars are also known as black hole stars These type of stars are hypothetical and estimated to have been formed at about the beginning of the universe a quasi star is born when a protostar's core fails and turns into a black hole. At this time, the star is still swelling. The approximate size is about 10 billion kilometers, which is 67 astronomical units. And the temperature is estimated to be about 10,000 Kelvin, 9,700 degrees Celsius. Because of its gigantic size and the black hole inside its core eating it up, it can only live about 10 million years, which is lower than our sun's lifespan. So this might be the reason why we cannot see any quasi stars until now. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye.